Hey guys and welcome to a new video in this deep learning tutorial. In this video here we're going to take a look at something called uh, Lexica which is basically like a search engine for ARR. So this is basically Google for like ARR. We can go in find different kind of prompts, images that has been generated with uh, with just throwing in some prompts to the stable diffusion model and then we actually like, have this search engine for uh, AI generated art. But first of all remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here only 10 percent of you guys watching these videos here are actually like subscribed to the channel it's just a single click and it helps me and youtube channel out in a massive way you can also come to our channel or a patreon if you want some help in your own projects if there's some problems i can help you out give some guidance so thank you guys so in this video we're basically just going to look at this website see what can it actually like do we're going to look at this really cool search engine uh, for AI generated images so I have created videos about like stable diffusion and so on on this channel I will also make more in the future how you can run it on your own computer how we can actually like generate like uh, designs how we can generate like videos and stuff like that so we can actually like have 3d animations just by generating these uh, images with stable diffusion playing around with them having like 3d animations and so on so definitely stay tuned for those videos here on the channel it's really cool and i'm really excited for that but here we're going to look at lexicat which is basically like a search engine as i have mentioned so here we can see you search over 10 million plus stable diffusion images and prompts so all of these here are act like just prompts that has been thrown into the stable diffusion model and then it has generated an ai image we can either like search for an image here or down here we can just see some examples uh, so we can basically just go through some of the examples we have all of these different kind of like variations we just get a lot of different kind of samples so we have around like 10 million plus samples we can see all the different kind of like details so we can see all the details in this image here for example uh, we can even see like the prompt that they have used we can see like what what is the model act like attending the most to and we can see that by the colors here we can see like the dimensions the guidance scale and also a seat if you want to like recreate these images here yourself you can either like copy the url or like copy the prompt if you want to like try to generate it yourself maybe make some variances and so on so we have all of these different kind of things we can also explore the style here so we can basically just hit here and then we can just explore like this style here for all different kind of like images that is generated uh, with the same style we get these really cool images like look at this monster here or like some kind of robot from the future it's just really crazy um, what this diffusion model here is actually like capable of so this is the style this is the style that we're searching for it has this really uh, nice code here clean looking code so we can actually just search for style we can get all these cool uh, ai generated images here we can see we have like some kind of ape machine uh, with a helmet stuff like that we can even see like different kind of variations down here at the bottom so all these different kind of things so basically just just a search engine we can search for like different kind of styles we can search for like any prompt that we want to find we can also just type in some very like basic things so we can just have, like for example have a man uh, with a uh, red hat and then we can basically just search for that and we want to uh, and we will actually like find old images that has been generated with stable diffusion from uh, some kind of like this prompt here that we just threw into it so we can also change the number of columns that we want to but here we can see we get a man uh, without a red hat but we also get some images here with a man uh, with uh, a red hat actually so we see we get all these different kind of like details we both get like portraits we get like uh, all these different kind of things like different kind of details that so these are like some old old style and we can just search for all these different kind of things within um, within this uh, search engine here which is called uh, lexica we can also search by image relevancy or we can search by prompt tag so if you just want to have exactly the same prompt and you want to search images for that we can just exactly like we can just directly do that we can tune the filters and so on so you can just see all the different examples you can play around with it yourself this is just to show you guys that this is actually like possible um you can just go in here find your images you can use them for your on your on your own so all of these the different kind of images here are open source from uh, stable diffusion go in find some inspiration try to generate some of these prompts here yourself uh, with the stable diffusion model and again we will cover this way more in future videos where we're actually like going to use like both images we're going to like make variations on images and even like convert images to 2d animations and then we can go one step further and actually like create 3d animations from these ai generated uh, images here uh, from the prompt so this is really cool i'm really mind blown of like what this model here is actually like capable of 
So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video here if you like this content and you want more in the future. Just will help me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. Again, if you want to check out the other different kind of like videos I have about like how we how we can create like neural networks from scratch, what is the theory behind neural networks and so on. I also have tutorials about that on the channel. I'll link to it up here. Or I'll see you next video, guys. Bye for now.